I had a scary thing happen to me recently, which I will recount for you, uh, although I'm not quite sure how to get into it because it's a little bit delicate. I was creating uh, on the toilet. <laughs> you understand, I was creating. <laughs> and when I have finished with my creation, I arise and I turn around to see what I have wrought. <laughs> and what I discover is there is blood in my stool. And my first thought is, I'm dying. <laughs> I have cancer and I'm dying. But then, you know, the rational part of my brain goes, no, you're not dying, you don't have cancer, you're too good looking. <laughs> so then I'm thinking, just to be safe, let me make a doctor's appointment. So I go to the doctor and I'm sitting there and he comes in and he goes, what seems to be the problem? And I go, I have blood in my stool. And he goes, can you describe it? <laughs> and I say, yes, I can. There is blood in my stool. <laughs> and he goes, okay. And he starts to give me an examination. And he starts here, which I think is weird. <laughs> I'm like, what, uh, you know, what is this? Like, you're not gonna find anything here. We both know what this is, sir. This is foreplay. <laughs> he doesn't find anything. He's like poking around. He's asking me questions. Do I have any fever? Do I have any nausea? Do I have any abdominal pain? No, 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 no. And then he goes, all right, time for the main event. Take off your pants. <laughs> well, he doesn't call it the main event. That would have been weird. <laughs> if he'd been like, time for the main event. <laughs> He didn't do that, he just said, please take off your pants. And I go, okay, and I take off my pants. And then I'm thinking to myself, does he mean underwear too? <laughs> he didn't specify underwear, but I'm pretty sure he means underwear, but that's not the kind of thing you want to be presumptuous about. <laughs> you know, you don't want to take off your underwear and have him be like, what the f are you doing? <laughs> but I decide, yeah, he probably means underwear, but I'm not sure, so rather than just ask, like a normal person, I make an awkward situation far more awkward because this is how I take off my underwear, like this. You know what I mean? Like a 14-year-old runaway at a bus stop, you know, just... But he doesn't stop me, you know? So I'm like, okay, I'm doing that right. And then I'm standing there with my pants and my underwear around my ankles and my shirt still on, which is making me feel far more naked than I've just taken off all my clothes, you know? And then we're kind of staring at each other. And then I say the most humiliating sentence I have ever said to another man. I say, where would you like me? Tears. <laughs> he goes, yeah, just bend over the examining table. And I go, okay. And again, there's like a lack of specificity in terms of how I am to bend over the examining table. Because to my mind, there's 90 possible degrees that I could bend over, and I'm not sure which is the correct number of degrees. You know what I mean? Like, I know it's not zero degrees. Because if it's zero degrees, he has no access to me. But nor do I think it's 90 degrees, because then I just appear over eager. <laughs> so I settle on a cool 45 degrees. <laughs> Feet shoulder width apart, you know, that seems right. And that's as far as I'm gonna go for the man. Like, I'll be damned if I'm gonna get up on my tiptoes. That I am not, like, he's got to work for it a little bit. You know what I mean?